Hey, BB fans. Well, the live eviction episode just ended on the East Coast and we had Mackenzie, Cedric and Rubina on the block with things rapidly changing in the Big Brother 26 house over the last couple of days on the live feeds in terms of alliances, betrayals, who was going to vote for who. Cedric, of course, volunteered to be on the block and started the week assured of his safety by his allies. And it was problematic because he thought and Quinn thought that he had a vote that could help keep Cedric in the house. And it came out later that Quinn couldn't vote just like the real HOH Angela, the deep fake HOH didn't have a vote. So that was already one down on someone Cedric could rely on. And he didn't know that when he volunteered to go on the block. So tonight we saw the three nominees head into the AI arena with Cedric Hodges well aware if he or Rubina didn't win, he was likely going home. Mackenzie winning was the worst case scenario for Cedric's game. And Rubina lost to Mackenzie in the arena by a split second with Cedric a distant third. It looked like even production thought Rubina was going to win because they had the cameras focused on her closely and then they panned out kind of in a panic to show Mackenzie slapping the buzzer. I was really surprised. I thought Rubina had it too. It was a pretty simple comp that required a gentle touch. They had this alley that had slants up each side, so like a flattish triangle. They had to roll the balls up the slant to get five, resting in a carpeted area at the top. Once those were in place, then you grabbed these silver balls and knocked them down to the other side. The first to get their five up there and then knock down would win. Cedric was struggling from the start. I think nerves were eating him alive. Mackenzie got an early lead, but then Robina actually overtook her, but then Mackenzie got her last ball up and then was faster by just a nose on the stage of knocking the balls back down and she slapped the buzzer in the AI arena and you could see Cedric's face fall. Then Julie had them come back downstairs to reveal to the house guests that Rubina and Cedric were the final nominees and Mackenzie had won. So then we saw this very fast scramble as Rubina and Cedric made last minute appeals to everybody to stay in the house. Cedric even appealed to people that he knew would not remotely try and keep him like Tucker, but he did. They worked the room. t and Chemo's plotting and pushing, though, had already tanked Cedric's game if he was determined to be one of the two final nominees. And t and Chemo knew that they were going to blow up the collective slash the Pentagon, the sub-alliance, by making this move. But t insisted they could apologize after they got Cedric out. And then Rubina and Cedric made their speeches. Hers, I thought, was very solid. His was really bad. I think just, again, frantic nerves because he knew the writing was on the wall because he saw everything shifting in the house over the past two days, as we saw on the live feeds. Then Julie called for the live voting. And she even called Quinn back to pretend that he was voting, although he never cast a vote since he was ineligible. And as I predicted in our earlier video, Julie is still following the script Big Brother planned out when it was supposed to be a secret deep fake HOH. So everybody knew Quinn getting called back was a big nothing burger. So the votes to evict Rubina were cast by Cedric's allies, Chelsea, Brooklyn and Cam. That's a total of three votes to evict Rubina. Then the votes to evict Cedric came from Tucker, Mackenzie, Leah, a very regretful chemo, an unapologetic t and a very glum Joseph who did seem to feel really bad, borderline tearful about betraying Cedric. And then Julie read the results and announced on a 6-3 vote, Cedric Hodges was evicted in week four of Big Brother. He was all class as he left. I will say that he hugged everybody on the way out, promised they would hang out, no hard feelings, it's a game. Meanwhile, the glares from Brooklyn and Chelsea already started because they knew they'd been betrayed and they had a very good idea of who did it. And then outside on the stage with Julie, Cedric got all the cheers and he was so 
gracious about his eviction. Julie commented on how just well he was handling it. And as Cedric told her, he knew when he volunteered that pawns go home and you're not supposed to volunteer, he did it for deep fake HOH Quinn, thinking he was safe. And then Cedric also seemed to think that in terms of him going up, it wasn't such a big deal because he seemed to feel like he would be evicted this week or next week because he was a hot target because, of course, he had come after Tucker. So when Julie asked who he thought voted to save him and vote to evict Rubina, he guessed all three accurately, Cam, Chelsea, and Brooklyn. And this was a little frustrating. We didn't get to see any of his goodbye messages from the house guests. I was hoping to see the traders try to explain themselves you know they don't have to do jury management at this point so they can just be honest you know but the episode ran tight because julie needed time to reveal details of the ai instigator twist we will cover that in another video but like i said in an earlier video today it definitely after seeing the details feels like a comma like a combo of saboteur and america's player Back inside the Big Brother 26 house post eviction, the house guest had split into these little clusters. Rubina was hugging on Tucker, happy to still be there with him. You know, it looked like there were several people in tears. Meanwhile, T Cor and Chemo were like nose to nose, whispering, fretting about the consequences of what they just did. And they knew that what was ahead for them heavily depends on who wins the HOH comp for week five. And as I mentioned in our last video, because of the two day build, we already had a good idea. It was going to be the wall comp, and it is. And as I also mentioned, Angela and Quinn both get to play in the comp. Julie confirmed this tonight on the live episode saying because neither of them had full head of household powers this week, they were both eligible. So we will definitely get you an update once we see who wins the week five HOH. Hopefully we'll know tonight. My money personally is on Angela being first off the wall just after watching this season after season. I'm guessing chemo is probably going to be right after her. Also, if you remember, tall, skinny people don't always do well on these. So we'll see how Mackenzie does. Cam and Tucker, they're really in shape guys. They should do pretty well. I'm not sure Quinn's got the strength to stay on long. But as a super fan, maybe he'll remember that he should try James Hooling's winning wall strategy of squatting to give yourself a break. James was the king of the wall comp squat. So that's it. It was an exciting, action-packed episode. Honestly, probably one of my favorite episodes of Big Brother 26. Despite the fact that I really like Cedric and he was voted out, I do expect some big fallout in the house on the live feeds as the Pentagon and Collective should be fractured, possibly shattered, and chemo and t -Core may face consequences for their betrayal. So goodbye, Cedric. We will miss you. Come back for more live feed updates and spoilers for Big Brother. And thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.